Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Doom Keeper. My name is Wilfred. If you're curious, this is my build. I am upgrading my Doom to detect the enemy of, and also to know my health, boost up my health as well. And I've got uh, quite a fair bit of drill strength as well, movement and carry. I upgraded my sword uh, on the first tier and my shield as well to be reflexed reflection uh, to the enemy that uh, range attack i've got blast mine and lift um, not much of upgrade there except the lift i can sort of like you know get higher speed to uh, to move up uh, when i need to now i'm using a sword doom build this is the harpoon it's very different from the laser that you've seen before basically you have to uh, use the harpoon to hit a range enemy and then you must swing the sword to do damage to the melee um, enemy as well so that is really a little bit of skilled involved and i love i love it i must say i love it because unlike the uh the range kind of doom whereby you just shoot laser to the enemy uh there's a fair bit of skill involved to uh, when you play the sword doom build so i love it now this is brutal difficulties uh, which is where the game is designed to be uh, it's meant to be rather difficult but not impossible uh, you could tone down the difficulties if you find it too hard and you like to learn the game and just more relaxing kind of way you can do that or if you are really into hardcore difficulty there's another difficulties above the brutal as well but i enjoy brutal i think the developer has tuned the difficulty just right just right it is not uh frustrating um you can do better as you start playing and keep playing as well so previous previously i've been playing a lot of laser doom build and i managed to complete uh two times uh when i when i could uh complete the brutal difficulties and uh, when i switched to a sword doom i had difficulties before but uh, as i learned the game as i learned how to prioritize certain kind of like um you know improvement like the tax tree you see here i found myself a little bit more comfortable and i found myself being able to um to to redo it so i play a lot of uh, road like game to be honest and sometimes when i play a road like game i get frustrated with the kind of randomness that go against me i get frustrated when the controller is not doing what i really wanted to do i got frustrated when i do not understand what's behind the scene now what's great about doom keeper is that i never feel frustrated at all even as i lose i say okay i've you know i've took too much risk i've um i've not kind of like done the right thing or i've not done the right priority and um and, and that's why i lost and that's that's still okay because you could learn like you know sometimes sometimes some of the misses they've got um you could, you could learn from there and that's really what i enjoy about playing this game uh, compared to other roguelike game that i have you know and i've never really good at roguelike game but uh, for the doom keeper it still keep me interested because i can still test different half like the, um a build different different kind of gadgets and so on so yeah i mean you know i'm still having a lot of fun with it and i hope uh, some of you who may have joined me playing this game will find it really fun as well to uh, to enjoy the game now let's talk about the gadget here because you know when you, when you talk about doom keeper it's kind of kind of impossible not to talk about gadget now i do think that um I do wish that this game would have a lot more gadget because I think gadget is what define the longevity of the game because you know you can try different combo and so on. So what I've got so far, I've never won a game without a stun laser as my first gadget. <laughs> That's a fun fact. Because you know you, you could try to take down enemy, but you do need help. And uh, what the stun laser does is that it's an additional weapon on your doom that will move on its own to target enemy. And depending on how much you would like to invest on the laser, um, laser uh, stun laser, it will do magic for you. So I've never won a game without a laser stun laser as my first gadget. So that's 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 um, that's true. Um, I've 
also been winning with the blasting mine because with the blasting mine it's a lot easier to discover the entire area without digging and the uh, you know by and large the, the the blasting mine has a cooldown of course and it does come up quite often as well so that's really cool now um i've won with uh, either lift or teleport doesn't really matter but i i think it's more for the mobility so you know these are things that i've been doing and i hope you can relate in your game as well so now back to this battle um it's kind of a little bit tough it's a lot of melee character as well and i'm trying to use my harpoon to uh to to take down the enemy but as you can see it's rather uh, not doing too well and these are really tough guys um this i mean it looks all black in color but these are the one that has a pretty high hit point and they punch pretty hard as well so i've got to like you know try my bad, very best to take it down but with my stun laser uh with me it makes a lot uh, life a lot easier as well so now at this point in time uh, i can I, I can of course keep collecting the resources or i could uh, keep upgrading myself as well so i've left a lot of things on my on my leaf shaft but i'm still hunting for that relax because you know look i've already at the third tier of the uh the core biomass um so um it is a small map so small map is not meant to be you know having a lot of levels so three levels is the max i've got and i'm already hitting the bottom and unlike my previous encounter the relax is not at the bottom um, so I am trying my best to try to find relics and I'm sort of recording this this is a pre-recorded video by the way and I'm trying to showcase to you the late game because the whole entire game may take around half an hour to 40 minutes a little bit too long for YouTube so I just want to take the interesting bits of it and uh, showcase to you all as you can see and you probably have paid attention as well I'm never short of this kind of material. I've got so many of this, you know, material that I'm running out of idea <laughs> how best to utilize it. And of course, it takes time to transport them uh, back and forth, but it's always worthwhile to do it because you could use it to upgrade your Doom. Uh, you can use it to upgrade your, your gun as well, or the laser or sword, so as to speak. And sometimes I do carry it through the lift as well because the lift give me a speed buff, which is very important to, you know, to get through from top to bottom. And I, you know, every time I've got something, I try to kind of look for what I should upgrade. And I think uh, what I did was that I upgraded the drill strength so as to drill faster because I really, really need to hunt for the uh, the the uh, the relics and. Um, and you may have noticed I'm running very low on the cobalt and without the cobalt I won't be able to um, replenish or repair my uh, my doom and that is game over if that's the case so I mean that that is really up to a point whereby I'm just getting a little bit nervous I've got a lot of like uh, material but I just don't have the one that I need all right so I'm still trying my best and I yep that's a mining blast as well so i'm trying to bring it to uh, where i should explore the area get a big blast out from it and see if i could um if i could uh, discover where the relic is i know it's not going to be at the bottom because i've covered all the bottom area so i was kind of betting that would that be somewhere here as well so i put my bomb there or the mine there and yep so as you can see there are there, there is uh, there's a switch there so each relic is being protected by two switch so you need to find out where the relic is and where the switch are and because I have the cobalt I'm kind of a little bit more chill right now um, and with the with the with the skill up on the on the uh, drill it makes a lot more easier to drill things through as well now of course i have to keep my eyes onto the monster meter on the left hand side because once that kind of like you know get to the bottom of it then there'll be another round of uh, enemies that's going to attack my base as well so i'm trying try my best to uh to to get back up and i think i'll have enough time to repair my base as well there's some 
I, I'm not quite sure whether I did upgrade or not. This is pre-recorded by the way. It's so excited to see. I heal myself and then I was like, should I pick something up? Maybe just one item, one more block there maybe. Yeah, so I pick one more block there, maybe another one. And then after that, and I've got, uh, let me take a look at that. I've got eight, nine of them, 10 of them. So what I can do, well, I can not upgrade my sword, uh, unfortunately. And uh, basically, that, there's nothing much to upgrade except perhaps the uh, the overcharged shield, as you see there, that I've decided to just um, just put it put it there, I believe. Or, you know, yeah, I mean, n nothing there worthwhile. So, yep, this is the last round. I'm going to try my best to hold off the enemy. And if I manage to do so, and uh, I will be able to... Um, I'll be able to get the relics. And I, on, I switch on my um, uh, reflection, and I miss my harpoon as well. Um, yeah. Okay, I managed to hit the enemy up in the air, so that is good news. Harpoon. Um, so yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I didn't manage to intercept it, but that's cool. Now, so that is the end of it, and I'm going to retrieve the relics and call it a day. Uh, there. By the way, for those who are interested in the um, Steam achievement, there is an achievement if you are able to fence off the very last wave without activating the rigs. You can see here. So now you can see that with the two switches, the rigs rigs open up itself, and then I just I as a doomkeeper rigs hunter just need to carry that all the way up to the base, and uh, that's job done. My very first brutal difficulty SWAT Doom win, uh, and also my third so far in my career playing this game as well. It's hugely satisfying. I really wish some of you may be able to uh, give it a try. Uh, it's, I love pixel art games, so long as the gameplay is good enough. Um, I could upgrade something here. I think at this at this stage, it wouldn't have matter anyway. But I upgraded the uh, timed reflection as well. Um, so yeah, so I can reflect like three times in a shorter interval. But I guess I didn't have a charge, so you know, anyhow, it didn't quite um, like work out the way I want it to be. But as you can see, the last wave is really like everything that the enemy throw on you. I wish one day I could fan off this entire wave without activating relics. I think that would be super satisfying, uh, but yeah, probably not for today, but uh, for another day. Then as you continue playing this game, you would unlock new map or new um, kind of game mode or gadget and so on. So yeah, enjoy, uh, keep discovering, and this game is still evolving. The developer is committed to keep improving the game as well. So see you next time, drop me a comment box below if you ask, want to ask anything. I'll see you. Bye-bye.